Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. And this time, I figured out how to hide the uh, thing that says it's recording in Chrome OS. And there's another plane. I'll try to record this. This is the third time I've tried to record this video. I screwed a few things up. And every time that plane is going over. Not the same plane, but I live near an airport. So, what this video is, it's a review and my general thoughts on Chrome OS. Now, if you saw my last video, you know I managed to get some basic hacking done. Not much, it wasn't great, and I had to use a web UI. Now, I wish I could have done that with the command line, but the Chrome OS command line without root and without developer options has like four or five commands. So we do help, and you get exit, help, ping, help advanced, help, ping, SSH, SSH foreign host, and top. Now help advanced, not much better. And you get set cellular PPP, set time, storage test, storage test 2, SYS log, time info, tom, TPM status, trace path, update over cellular, upload crash report, upload crashes, WPA debug. Now those aren't good for my purposes. I need like LS, LS minus LA, uh, gun zip, G zip, whatever, uh, things like that. CD is a good one that they really should add. Well, if they add CD, they're gonna need to add LS and a better file system. Think about Chrome OS is it's on a 16. 16 gigabytes internally, so I only have a few things here, and I heard you could try to run Android apps on it, so I have the Terraria APK here, and I have DOS C drive for DOSBox, but most of your storage is done on your drive. Here's the pictures for my last video, and here's my last video. Now, plain... That airport's annoying. Like, all the houses around here have to be soundproofed. You know, literally all the houses are soundproofed. So, um, we don't have a file system, I mean a good file system. We don't have a good terminal. Now, if you want to get a terminal in here, what you have to do is you have to do SSH root at raspberry and here's your Linux terminal. See, so we have ls and do cd dot dot clear. And another plane is coming. I don't want to talk over it because then I have to be really loud and I don't know how it's going to come through on the video. Yeah, this one's not that loud. Interesting fact, if it's not that loud, it's usually a propeller plane. And they use that for, like, UPS and stuff like that. But that's beside the point. Uh, now, this is the only way I can get a real Linux terminal in here. But let's talk about apps and Chrome integration. Now, we have Chrome, and you have to get all your apps from the Chrome store. Or a third party. I haven't found the trustworthy third party yet, like I have for Android and, yeah, Android. Plenty of third parties for uh, Windows. But you have to do the Chrome yeah, store. Now, I could have just went here, I think. Well, Chrome Web Store. Here's where you're going to get the multitude of apps. And I still can't find one to run the 3D printer from this thing. I mean, there's one that's supposed to be like Pronerface, but in the past I had never had luck with Pronerface. So that's why I use Repetier and Cura. But you still can't 3D print from Cura. <clears throat> you can only slice. But, again, 
You're gonna have to get all your apps here. So I know there's a CAD I want. So let's go CAD. What? There's like CAD. Yeah. I know there's a CAD Chrome extension. I have it on my desktop, but you're gonna have to get all your apps from there. Now your YouTube, Docs, Google. It also has OK. Can't say the rest of that, or it'll pick up. Oh, OK, OK Google. Ah, no. OK Google. I don't need you. But now you have all your apps too. Now. Another thing I want to talk about is gestures. Now, I'm not using the arrow keys. I'm double finger swiping to the left and to the right. Now, if you do double swipe down, you scroll down. Double tap is right click. Single tap is left click. Now, it has a left, like the whole bottom of the touchpad is the left click. Only right click is your two fingers by tapping. <laughs> now, um, if you want to... Like the scroll wheel, like the third button on your mouse, you have to do triple tap. But you have to enable that in a uh, Chrome flag. Now, Chrome flag is. Chrome flags, I mean. This is where you enable all your not available to normal users settings. Like you can enable silent debugging, de developer tools. Ooh, I might have to enable this. I will not be restarting my computer because I'm doing a video. But. Now, you can't right click on the desktop. To, oh, yes, you can. Never mind. I'm wrong. I must have tried that before I enabled it. Yeah, that, that's supposed to be right click. Nothing happens. Left click, nothing happens. But let's say I right click on DOSBox, it just opens DOSBox. I'm yet to mount a C drive in it. Another thing we should talk about. Specs. This is a 2 gigabyte RAM. Forget the processor, but... Some screen. I don't know the specs are exactly. Uh, let's go... HP Chromebook 11. Here. H A. I E R. Uh, eleven point sixteen inch, sixteen gigabyte SSD. Two gigabytes DDR three RAM. Eleven point six screen, ten hour battery life. More product specs. Um, brand name hair Chromebook, two point five pounds. That size. It's black. It has a rock trip brand processor. Flash memory, 16 gigs, no optical drive. One lithium ion battery included. Uh, wireless type D80211. That's what my old Cisco router is. <laughs> uh, an average battery life is 10 hours. Sorry, I didn't notice specs off the top of my head, but whatever. Now, another thing we should talk about is... The fact that this operating system is based around the Chrome browser. Like, notice how when I do Control Alt T, it opens a tab called Crosh in the browser. Yeah, leave the page. And most of your apps will work in the browser. Let's go with all apps. And Google Drive. Look, it opens in the browser. Another good thing about it is the extensions like Adblock, Adblock, I have two Adblocks, Snag It, which is what I'm using to record this video. And it's an amazing battery life, I should say, but I haven't charged it. Well, no, I have charged it. I've been using it all day, and it is now 7, 7 11 p.m. And I only have 73, I've only used about 27%. Look at me doing math. 
It also has VPN integration in it, so you can actually get a VPN, which is nice. Now the settings look exactly like the settings in Google Chrome. But, so it's basically all around your browser. Gives you a lot of things. I freaking hate how it does this. But, when you notice, let's say I, I open DOSBox. The taskbar, or shelf, as Chrome OS calls it, disappears. Uh, that's the four for fifth plane. You know, it would help if I shut the door. Nah. So my general thoughts of Chrome OS are night nice, are good. Like my <coughs> sorry, my general thoughts are it's nice. It's Linux based. It's only missing a terminal, and the caps lock key is replaced with a search key. Now in the settings, you can change that. But oh yeah, and the keyboard. All the keys on the keyboard are in lowercase. Like, that's not going to be a big deal, and most people probably won't even notice, but for me, it's kind of distracting. Like, because every other computer I use is uppercase, and, well, looks better. I mean, it just looks better. Ooh. Every time I go off on subject, I realize another thing. Come on, open. Tapping. That's the only thing I have trouble opening. Now I have an SD card, a 2 gigabyte SD in here. And hold on. Let's uh, turn the camera on. Why don't we do that? Let's go. Oh, it didn't get specs on the camera. Let's go with the camera. The camera should be turning on. Now, this is the little 2 gigabyte SD card I have in here. And when I plug it in. It just doesn't read and it doesn't give me a satisfying noise like Windows does. Windows makes that boom, boom noise whenever you plug anything in. That was a horrible rendition of it. Now, I don't see anywhere. You can go to Google Drive, I guess. Uh, we don't have a SD slot or SD thing. Hey, we only have Google Drive, Downloads, and Terraria has its own. Okay. That's probably my fault. You only get options. We only knew new window, new folder, buy, buy more store, advertising. Advertising in an operating system. Almost worse than bloatware. Now, uh, we don't need this camera anymore. If I had an external camera, I could show you the actual PC. And this does give you a good idea of how the quality of the camera and how many guitar necks are hanging behind me. But, that's about it. So, that would be my general overview of Chrome OS. And it's not bad, really. It's actually a nice operating system but I am considering using a custom Kali image or another custom Debian just so I could use it as an actual Linux machine because I know I tried to get a, uh, a Nexus but when I tried to buy that I didn't get it in time so it went up a few dollars I mean more money than I could pay for it so I wasn't able to do NetHunter. I just went and saw Kali on something without my computer eating the Linux partition. Like, if I boot my laptop, there is a Windows 7 and GNU Linux. If I try to boot the GNU Linux, it asks me to insert my Windows install disk. Same thing happens when I boot my computer. I don't know how to fix my uh, Linux partition, but I'm working on it.
It's the only reason I haven't been done, haven't done too many videos in Cali, which I would love to. I mean, I built that computer. Just, I mean, threw that computer together out of parts of my basement to run Cali on it. But I wasn't able to easily. I mean, I was able to run it on a flash drive live and stuff, but I'm working on it. I'm also working on the proxy server and the web server I want to do a video on. But till now, we just have a Google site. So we're going to go. We do have a Google site. Like, what I'm saying is we have sites. We we have a site. I'm working on a web server so that we don't have to use a Google site. Hold on. I'm just going to show you the site real quick. Site. Ah, oh, here it is. So we do have a site, it's just, it's just on Google, so I don't like to advertise that much. It's just basic, and I want to transfer it over to a server that I'm hosting. Ah, oh, crap, I just did that out. Whatever. Hopefully, I don't remember what setting I changed, but I'm going to leave this video here, so thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.